Hello friends. PFS3, the professional file system. It is the most stable file system for Commodore Amiga. As known Amiga OS 3.1 comes with FFS, the fast file system but it has many bugs and has a very bad habit of corrupting files. Before we begin let's check the needed stuffs. A blank formatted ADF floppy disk for copying PFS3 files. Workbench 3.1 boot disk. PFS3 files, SCSI device and handler file. WinUI Amiga emulator to copy files from Windows PC to Amiga floppy ADF files. Directory Opus 4 for easy file management. An off course in Amiga 500 with a hard drive. My Amiga 500 has ACA 500 Plus and uses compact flashcard as hard drive. Now launch WinUI and create an Amiga 500 setup with 1 MB of chip RAM, 8 MB of fast RAM and 68000 processor. Add downloaded PFS3 folder to WinUI like shown in the picture. We are using 3 floppy disks, insert them into WinUI like shown in the picture. Don't forget to write enable workbench disk. After booting to directory opus, lower it down and check floppy disks. There has to be three floppies and a SCSI device folder which we shared from Windows. Workbench 3.1, PFS3, Dopus are floppy disk names. Now let's return to directory opus. List SCSI device folder like shown. Now type DF1 to other window. DF1 stands for floppy drive 1. Select the file from left window and click copy. To make things easier rename the file to handler. Now switch to DF2. That's the workbench floppy drive, we will copy SCSI device file to workbench devs folder. Dev stands for devices, Amiga loads them while booting. But workbench disk has no empty space, so we will delete printer files in devs folder. I don't think anyone use a printer with Amiga 500 anymore, so that won't be a problem. Copy SCSI device to floppy disk. Our job with WinUI have finished. Now let's load Workbench ADF files, and newly created PFS3 floppy ADF file to USB memory stick. Insert USB stick to Gatek floppy drive emulator and boot your real Amiga 500. After booting to Workbench check if SCSI device loaded properly. Switch to Workbench Install Disk and run Hard Disk Toolbox. If you click on Define New it will try to write on Workbench Disks since there is no empty space that will cause problem. So just click on Edit Old. Partition the drive as you see fit. You don't have to size partitions like I do. Make boot priority something like 2 so your hard drive will boot after your floppy. As seen default file system is, fast file system. And there's no trace of PFS3. So we have to install the new file system. Now switch to PFS3 floppy disk and type DF0 handler. Enter the dose type number like shown in the video. B 
Be careful wrong number will crash your system. Good, now our new file system showing. After switching to PFS don't forget to edit max transfer rate. That's the optimal rate. Now save it and reboot your Amiga. NDOS means not formatted drive. Always do a quick format compact flash drives. As you can see PFS working properly. Now let's install Workbench. By default Workbench tries to install itself to floppy drive, don't forget to show it your hard disk. Finally it is done. It is booting to workbench without a problem. That's my Amiga 500 setup. Don't forget to like my video if you like it. Have a great day.